Let's try another example. Number 8. Find the standard equation of the parabola with focus at 0, 4 with directrix y equals negative 4. In this case, the focus and the directrix are given. The focus is at 0, 4 and the directrix is y equals negative 4. Dito, nauunan na ang 0 bago ang value ni p, which is positive 4. That is why this is parabola opening upward. And since the directrix is y, the equation must be quadratic in x. Kasi sabi natin na kapag y sa directrix, x dapat ang quadratic sa equation. At kung x naman sa directrix, y ang quadratic sa equation. So kapag ganito ang given, it's either upward or downward. At ito ang equation na gagamitin natin. Kaya upward ang ating parabola kasi greater than 0 ang value ni p. Therefore, we can now find the standard equation of the parabola. Replace p with 4 and simplify. 4 times 4 is 16 and copy y. So the equation of the parabola is x squared equals 16y. Another example. Number 9. Write the equation of the parabola with vertex at the origin with the length of latus rectum equals 6 and the parabola opens upward. If the parabola opens upward, we use the equation x squared equals 4py. However, we need a value of p. Wala tayong focus but we have the length of the latus rectum which is equal to 6. Paano nakuha si 6? Remember that the formula of finding the length of the latus rectum is the absolute value of 4p. If the length of the latus rectum is 6, we can now solve for p by dividing the equation by 4. Therefore, p is equal to 3 over 2. Lowest form of 6 over 4 is 3 halves. We divide the numerator and denominator by 2. Now to check if p is truly equal to 3 over 2, let us substitute this value to the formula of the length of latus rectum which is equal to 4p or the absolute value of 4p. 4 times the value of p which is 3 halves is equal to 12 over 2 and 12 divided 2 is 6. Since it is equal to the given length in the problem, we conclude that p is equal to 3 over 2. So we can now replace this value of p in the equation and simplify. 4 times 3 over 2 is 6y. 4 times 3 is 12, divide 2 is 6. And this is now the equation of parabola. Or kahit hindi natin hanapin ang value ni p, since meron tayong length ni latus rectum, we can just simply write this value in the equation since this is also equal to 4p. So the equation for number 9 is x squared equals 6y. Let us have one more example. Number 10, find the equation of the parabola given the equation of the directrix x minus 3 equals 0. In this case, we only have the directrix which is x minus 3 equals 0. Transpose 3 to the right side so the directrix is x equals 3. What is our technique? Kung x ang equation ni directrix, the equation of the parabola is quadratic in y. So we're going to use the equation y squared equals 4px. Now, we need the value of p. Kung positive dito ang value sa directrix, that means the value of p is negative 3. Kasi kapag negative ang p, positive ito sa directrix. At kung positive ang value ni p, negative ito sa directrix. At dahil positive ang given directrix, kaya negative ang ating p. So we can now replace this value of p in the equation. 4 times negative 3 is negative 12 and copy x. Therefore, the equation of parabola is y squared equals negative 12x. So that is all about parabola whose center is at the origin. Never give up, you can do it.